and 12. Let's make sure that we all do 11. I wanted to make a piece that that sort of showcased for principal couples and and then a large called a ballet of um, of 16. So um, I had quite a clear idea who those principal couples were going to be. The idea for this ballet comes from really from the way that the music is structured. Um, it's a minimalist piece by um, the American composer Michael Torkey, and it's um, it's very repetitive. So then, as a challenge for me, it becomes about finding ways to make that um, visually interesting. So following following the insistence of the rhythm, going against it. Um, finding ways to build an architecture with a corps de ballet that um, that shows, you know, not not just what appears to be clear in that rhythm, but so maybe underlying rhythms, um, maybe even coming up with rhythms of my own that go against the way that the music is written. So it's like building a um, a piece of stage architecture. Really. And uh, one, two, down and up and down. Good. Think a little bit more from here and less from your wrist. So more, more of the shape coming from your back and that way. That's what'll it. probably happen is you'll go, you'll pull her around like so, and it's, she'll be going off like so, and you'll go. One, the dancers two. themselves inform the way that the choreography shapes, you know, on their bodies. So even though I give them the steps, they take, they take what I give them and then shape it according to how they move. So uh, structure that I made out on paper always changes, and it changes by the day. Until you get bodies in a room, it's hard to know how, how the ballet's going to end up. <laughs> so everyone stay, everyone should have two counts of nothing on 9, 10. You know, every piece is, is a, is a f sort of further step in, in a choreographer's development. So um, one of the nice things about working as much as I do is that you, know, you make a work and sometimes it turns out to be a piece that has longevity and will continue on in a repertoire and sometimes it doesn't. But you always step away moving on into the next work with, you know, knowing what's, what's um, been successful and what hasn't been successful in the previous. So through experience you, you know, you, um, you develop that way.